The era of electric cars isn't coming. It's already here. Though they still make up a small portion of the new car market, EVs are where the action is regarding the exciting realms of vehicular development. No longer are they battery-powered compliance cars or subcompact shells for the crunchy granola set. Today's electric vehicles come in a broad range of sizes, shapes, and prices. Concept cars show the latest technology automotive manufacturers offer. Take a look at these vehicles and see how our cars will look in the future. Concept cars are the most unique, futuristic vehicles we'll never drive. They're often filled with self-driving technology that isn't yet road legal and interior displays that look amazing but are too distracting for drivers. The exterior designs of these concept vehicles are also incredible since the designers had almost all the freedom in the world to incorporate the auto manufacturer's design language into a vehicle that doesn't have to abide by government regulations. Even so, pieces of these futuristic concepts eventually trickle down into consumer-ready vehicles. Here are seven of the most amazing concept electric vehicles that point toward the future of consumer EVs. Lamborghini Terzo Millenio One of Lamborghini's first electric vehicle concepts, the Terzo Millenio, was unveiled in 2017 with an unbelievable exterior design with a unique all-electric powertrain. Lamborghini collaborated with professors at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, to create a concept design for the all-electric sports car of the future. Lamborghini opted to move away from conventional lithium-ion batteries and instead equipped the Terza Millenio with supercapacitors seen in the V12-powered Aventador. Lamborghini declared in its press release that it wants its future energy storage systems to be able to deliver high peak power and regenerate kinetic energy, with minimal influence from aging and cycling during the vehicle's life. This concept technology made its way to the limited production Lamborghini Shin FKP37 in 2019, powered by a hybrid V12 powertrain. Some benefits of the supercapacitors include being one-third of the weight of traditional lithium-ion batteries but can produce three times the power for the same density. Another benefit of supercapacitors is that they charge very quickly from regenerative braking and can instantly release that power. On the other hand, lithium-ion batteries take much longer to charge and release a steady stream of power. Another unique feature of the Terza Millennio is that the electric motors are located in the wheels allowing for four-wheel drive. This, in turn, allows designers to have more freedom with the vehicle's exterior design, creating unique angles and aerodynamic elements that wouldn't be possible with large lithium-ion batteries and electric motors taking up space elsewhere in the vehicle. Aspar Owl 2021 Japanese car makers may not be known for their hypercars, but that doesn't make the Aspark Owl any less exciting. We're still waiting on the futuristic hypercar nearly four years after it was first announced at the Frankfurt Auto Show. But if Aspark really can deliver what it's promised, it'll be more than worth it. According to the brand, its next generation speed machine is really coming this year, bringing with it a quad motor powertrain capable of delivering a staggering 1,985 up, the ability to rocket from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 1.72 seconds, a top speed of 249, and a 280-mile driving range. The company plans to make 50 examples of the $3.56 million electric hypercar. Only 10 of those are bound for North America, so you'll have to act fast to get yours. Of that limited run, 20 owls are planned for the European market, 20 for Asia and the Middle East, and just 10 for North America, according to Autoblog. The hypercar still sports the same low profile, McLaren F1S design it did in concept form, but its powertrain has undergone a drastic evolution over the years. In 2019, Aspark revealed that the production owl would be powered by a four electric motor setup that would churn out 1,000. 985 app and 1,475 feet olds of torque, making it nearly twice as powerful as originally promised. Mercedes Vision EQXX With all the hype surrounding Mercedes, recently released all-electric luxury sedan, 
the EQS, its Vision EQube XX concept, flew a little under the radar. Mercedes wanted to create a luxury sedan that could hit over 600 miles of range, and it succeeded. This concept vehicle was meant to demonstrate Mercedes' current battery technology that they will put in its production cards in the future. The Vision EQXX improved its range to over 620 miles, 1,000 kilometers, in various ways. First, the vehicle's exterior design is meant to reduce as much drag as possible. The EQXX has a low-profile sloping roofline and has several aerodynamic elements to help it cut through the air well, including flaps in the front that open up at higher speeds, as well as an active rear diffuser. The air passing under the cooling plate of the Vision EQXX also helps cool its electronics. This results in the vehicle not needing extra fans and fancy cooling elements, thus reducing weight and the need for extra power from the electric motor. Mercedes has also increased the energy density in its battery pack, making it 30% lighter and more efficient than other solid-state battery packs. Another interesting element of the Vision EQXX is its roof, containing 117 solar cells to gain as much extra range as possible. This solar roof powers the car's navigation system, which is one less electronic system for the main battery pack to power. Mercedes states in its press release that the solar booster increases the range by more than 2%, which adds up to a good 25 kilometers on a journey of over 1,000 kilometers. These minor design elements add up and result in a highly efficient package of an EV. BMW i4 2021 BMW's history with electric vehicles goes back further than most automakers. In addition to a slew of hybrids, the company released two fully electric vehicles last decade, the ultra-compact i3 and sporty i8. It's taking things to a new level with its new i-series models, though. The line will include battery-powered versions of some of the brand's most popular models, including the X Crossover and, most notably, a 4-series sedan. The i4, which will be the line's flagship, delivers 530 300 miles of range, and the M4's massive kidney grills. As of writing, prices were not available, but the exciting EV is expected to go into production later this year. While many EVs seem to share a similar curvy aesthetic, think the Tesla Model 3 or the Ford Mustang Mach-E, the i4 stands on its own. At a glance, it's very clear this is a BM Dolly. In fact, it looks almost exactly like the new M4 Sports Coupe that was introduced last year, only a little chunkier, and with four doors. It shares that car's bold, angular style and humongous front kidney grille. Those grills have proven to be a little controversial with enthusiasts, but it gives the i4 real attitude, something most EVs lack entirely. It's taller than the M4, something we'd attribute to extra room needed for the vehicle's electric skateboard architecture. Other differences include bright blue accents running along the bottom of the side and rear of the vehicle, as well as aero wheels. There are also no exhaust pipes coming out the back because, of course, the car doesn't need them. Sony Vision S02 Sony unveiled the Vision S02 at CES 2022 to show off its design philosophy and, of course, its brilliant-looking interior displays. The exterior looks as expected as EVs go, with a low sloping roofline, smooth body lines, and bright LED headlights. The S01 concept is a sedan unveiled at CES 2020, while the S02 is a slightly taller compact SUV. Sony aims to use its background in technology to make the Vision S02 a safe, level 2 self-driving vehicle. To do this, Sony placed CMO's image sensors and LiDAR around the vehicle to detect pedestrians and other hazards in its path. In terms of interior technology, both vehicles feature a beautiful display that stretches the entire length of the dashboard. This is only one of the many futuristic displays we're looking forward to seeing. Sony included gesture controls and voice commands to navigate the user interface more efficiently, as well as 5G connectivity for passengers to browse the web and stream entertainment. Sony explains that it will include other forms of entertainment, such as the ability to play PlayStation games through a remote connection to your home console. 
or through streaming directly from the vehicle's 5G connection. Also included are a high-quality speaker system and a video streaming service called BRAVIA Core for Vision, enabling video playback on the front panoramic screen as well as the rear seat displays. No release date has been announced, but we are looking forward to which of these features will come to future electric vehicles through collaborations with Sony Mobility. Estrema Fulminia 2023 Automobili Estrema Yes, the Italian word for extreme isn't taking the easy way out. The new Italian mark wasn't content to just develop a supercar for its first vehicle. It decided to make one with a fully electric powertrain. Dubbed the Fulminia, the sporty coupe certainly looks the part thanks to a sleek and aerodynamic exterior that includes a rear wing with an integrated shark fin. It should be able to deliver the performance expected of its V12 packing peers too, thanks to an innovative quad motor powertrain that will deliver an eye-popping 2040 app. Thanks to this, Estrema expects the car to be able to accelerate from 0 to 200 miles per hour in less than 10 seconds. Oh, and it will be able to drive a solid 325 miles on a single charge. Estrema's first lightning strike is the Fulminia Hypercar. For its launch, Pitsudo engaged supercar communication expert Rafael Oporo and the Studio PR team to produce a live event, zoomed from the Turin Automobile Museum. What they shared was a full-size prototype presented by Pitsudo and the company's chief operating officer, Roberto Olivo. Joining the presentation stateside, in California, actually, was Chief Creative Officer Alexander Klatt, who has held design leadership roles at Fisker, BMW Design Works USA, and BMW Group in Germany. Butterfly-style doors open wide to invite the driver and passenger into a cockpit that is expansive and affords wide vision forward. The Fulmine is finished in Azuro Savoia, the signature color of Automobili Estrema. Inspired by the blue of azurite crystals, it complements the dark texture of the car's carbon fiber details and the alloy and carbon fiber rims from Oz Racing that fill the wheel wells and are fitted with tires developed for Estrema by Pirelli. Under its new age composite skin and blowing aura, the Fulminia is the first automobile to use an innovative hybrid battery pack produced by ABE, Avesta Battery Energy Engineering, that combines lithium ion cells with solid state electrolyte and ultra capacitors in a single high performance super battery. These ultra capacitors, electrical energy storage devices that store a large amount of electrical charge, power Fulminia's four motors. Those four motors develop a staggering total output of 2040 amp. Designed for rocket like acceleration, the Fulminia will supposedly reach 200 miles per hour in less than 10 seconds. With a battery capacity of 100 kilowatt hours, the projected range, according to the industry test cycles, is 325 miles. Lincoln Star Concept Lincoln is looking to make a name for itself in the world of EVs as well, with the introduction of its line of three electric vehicles coming by 2026, according to its press release. The exterior is stunning with an angular design, a flat, low-profile roof, and a sequential bar taillight in the rear. The interior is where Lincoln steps up its game, featuring retractable displays, lots of legroom for the backseat passengers, and ambient lighting throughout. Although the Lincoln Star concept video mainly shows off its cool lighting and luxury interior, it also has some impressive technology to make it an attractive package. Lincoln's intelligence system will allow its future EVs to park themselves, hence its upcoming driver assistance feature called Park For Me. This also hints that its future self-driving electric vehicles will have at least level 2 driver assistance, allowing the car to steer itself within the lanes, recognize surrounding hazards, and more. These manufacturers aim to show off the best technology and design they have for their vehicles in the present without being held back by government regulations and worries over sales numbers. In a perfect world, designers would have the freedom to build whatever car they want, and automotive companies would see the sales it desires. But unfortunately, it's never a perfect world. But the features the concept cars show off don't always go to waste, as we see some of their features eventually make it into production cars. What do you think let me know down in the comment section?